the virtual groom room. My name is Jackie Host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be new on the channel. And this is Havana Vieja by HSSC or Highland Springs Soap Company. HSSC are coming at you from BC, Canada, British Columbia, for anyone that doesn't know. The scent on this soap is just what I would describe as absolutely wonderful. Um, it is a, it's a tobacco based scent, but it's very gourmand. It's really, really nice. Bit of, bit spicy. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a bit of a cold at the moment. So if I, if I sound a bit stuffy, it's because I am. It's, it's spicy, it's chocolatey, it's tobacco. This is, it's not difficult for me to say that this is probably my favorite tobacco scent there is. Um, the label on it is pretty cool. It's quite old world. Um, obviously Havana being in Cuba or Cuba. Yep. That's our soap today. Looking forward to using that. Our razor is a special razor. This was gifted to me from a, my good old, my good pal Chris Madden and other cut above. This is the Home Like Start razor made out of Russia. Um, this is one of the other only other razors that is made in house and sold from the company who makes it, as opposed to someone basically contracting someone to make them a razor. Um, this is sold and made by the same company. Uh, I've used this a few times with the more aggressive plates and it's fantastic. It shaves very, very well. I would say going out on a limb, this is one of the only razors for me that competes with the carb in terms of smoothness. Um, with the box that comes with four base plates, there's this plate, which is the 0.68. There's the 0 0.09, or 0.9 rather, not 0 0.09, because that's almost no aggression at all. 0.9 safety bar, 0.9 OC, and 1.18 safety bar. So four plates, I think it retails for about 150 US dollars, which really isn't bad for four plates and a full razor. This is made of stainless steel. It might be made of three or four or three or three. I can't quite remember. It's a very weighty razor, if you like that sort of thing. And the finish on it is actually quite pretty. It's a, I'd call this an industrial polish. It's not a mirror polish, like the uh, Carve or the, um, Wolfman razor. So yeah, that's that's what we're going to be using in terms of our razors today. Once again, thank you to Chris Madden for sending it over. Our brush of choice is new in the den. And uh, it is a stunning razor, which I'm going to call Poseidon. I don't know if the camera does, it, does this justice. This is a uh, custom made by my pal Milton at Turn and Shave. The amount of detail that's gone in to making this handle is just astounding. This has a 28 mil V3 tip knot in it. I have a 26, I have a 28, and now I have a 30. So yeah, uh, those that's gonna be our shave today. Um, the post is gonna be the matching splash. All I'm pretty much gonna do is just take off my glasses and we'll get into it. I'm not gonna cut away today. Just get this video started. And We'll get talking about the soap and everything like that. So let me uh, get the soap loaded here and uh, shake out the brush. So um, how are you guys? I'm very good. I've been back from, look at the interesting color of this soap, by the way. I sprinkled a bit of water on it, which is why it's wet, but look at that, it's so, so obscure. Let's get lathered up, or loaded up. So yeah, very interesting soap. Um, I don't know what quite made it this color. In fact, I'll read the ingredients a minute in a minute and see if I can figure out. Uh, the lather, I can tell you, is gonna be like a, kind of like a brown color. I can tell you already, because this is the color that it's loading up. I hope to God it doesn't uh, dye the, the natural hair, because that would bug me, but I guess we'll find out. I've used HSSC soaps once, and they are some of the best vegetable based soaps on the market, in my humble opinion. Um, it's one of the soaps that I don't notice that I'm not using a tallow based soap. And I've said before tallow, I don't think it's tallow that makes a difference in a lot of these tallow based soaps. I think it's just the amount of fat they add, the amount of different butters and stuff like that, because there are some tallow based soaps or some vegetable based soaps that just have a lot of butters and it makes a lot of difference. 
It's built a really beautiful creamy lather, as you can see what's happening here. Still loading up. It's actually quite a soft soap. So I think we're good here. Let's, uh, I'm not gonna waste the stuff on the outside because that's gonna be applied to the face. So let's get all of that. Let's scoop that in here and uh, wash off the edge. As I've said before in these videos where I don't cut, I pretty much do all I would do if I was shaving on my own. In, in fact, in this case, I'm just talking to the camera. So I'm not shaving my own, I'm shaving with you lot. And I think you appreciate me being honest. So let's uh, get the face wet and we'll get to lining up. So yeah, I have a bit of a cold at the moment. The reason I've chosen this scent is because it's very powerful and it just blasts through my cold like no one's business. There are some spices in here, I can smell them. So I do hope that they don't irritate my skin because that would be disappointing because I love the scent of this. Like I said, the way I would describe this scent, it's a very gourmand, tobacco, spicy scent. It's just wonderful, is the way I would describe it. I bought this guy, um, West Coast Shaving, when I was in California. It's one of those soaps where if I, if I didn't smell it, I probably wouldn't have bought it. So I'm incredibly happy that I was there and able to actually smell it because it's just wonderful. So let's paint some blather on here and then we'll get to splaying the brush. As you can see, a very interesting color, <laughs> just to, to say the least. It's like a sandy color, beige instead of white. I've had a bit of experience with the soap base. I used uh, Kootenay Blue on the West Coast Shaving YouTube channel. This brush has a wonderful backbone. It makes it just perfect for face lathering. If you want to see some more of me shaving, by the way, I've been doing quite a lot of Instagram live shaves recently and I've been really enjoying them. Um, my Instagram handle is almost definitely in the video description. If it's not, which it normally is, um, just look for the same channel name, The Virtual Grim Room, on Instagram and you'll find me. I've been doing them pretty regularly and I've been enjoying them quite a lot. I like the live medium because I can interact with people. So it's very useful. Very nice. Creates a very, it's quite dense for a vegetable based soap. <coughs> and as I said, the scent is pretty strong. I'd probably give it about an eight. Very nice. The de the the scent is very, very present. I've noticed anyway, like in the sense that if I open the soap, it does linger. I've not used the soap yet, so I'll know how much it lingers a bit later. Kind of like in the bathroom. But I imagine this can be quite a bit. Another thing you can, I notice immediately is a uh, once lathered, it has this nice masculine scent, so you don't go around smelling like a chocolate factory, which is appreciative, which makes me appreciative rather. Yeah, wow. Very easy lather to make. And honestly, I have noticed that. In a bind, like if you're in a bit of a rush, there aren't many in my opinion, these new tower bases. 
they're easy to lather quickly. This is definitely a base that is lathering quickly and I've noticed that a lot of vegetable bases are much faster to lather, so I'd bet that in mine. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that lather there. I hope so, because it's not white and I can't see very well. Let's get to shaving. So home like start razor, let's go with the grain. Wow, very mild. This is probably the mildest razor I've ever used. There's almost no blade exposure. A little bit too mild for me. However, if you're a daily shaver, I, this would be a really, really good option. In fact, the, the amount of weight coupled with the mildness of this razor is almost a really good mix. Very, very mild. I probably wouldn't have gone as mild with this blade geometry because this is quite a dense soap. And I can feel the razor struggling to kind of get blade to skin, if that makes sense. The soap is excellent. It has very, very good residual slickness. Like I said, one of the best vegetable based soaps I've used pretty easily. Just rinsing off here. Yeah, very, very mild, that, that uh, plate, which, you know, judging by shaving with the 0.9, I can see why. Uh, the 0.9 has very, very little blade fill as well, so lather up for that second pass. I'm not a huge fan of blade fill, so this isn't a problem for me. If you do like blade fill, I would absolutely not use this plate because I just don't think you'll get the desired experience you want. But if you're a daily shaver, man, this is a wonderful soap. If you're a daily shaver, I would highly recommend it. Mainly because I, I, I've told you before, I'm of the opinion that you're gonna get there in the end anyway. I might need to do a third pass here because the rays are so mild, but that's fine, you know. This soap can take a good amount of water, which is something you, you guys know I really enjoy. Overall, very happy in the performance of this soap. Very easy to work with, which is always obviously a bonus. I would probably have to do a third pass with this razor because I don't think the cross the grain pass is going to get me close enough with how mild this base plate is. It's so smooth, honestly, so smooth. Like I said at the start, this, this for me is the only razor I can compete with the car for how smooth it is.
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to do a third pair. But that's fine. I have tons of lather left in here, so I'm just gonna lather up again and go for this third pass. Like I, I don't look for BBS. I look for par when I'm shaving. As long as par is achieved, I really don't care. And um, we're getting there. I mean, for me, even for daily shaves, I don't think I could use something this mild. It's so smooth, but it's, I'm finding because the just complete lack of blade exposure, it's hard to know if there's an actual blade on your skin. Yeah. This soap is wonderful. And I, I think I may have said this, but something that I've noticed after lathering it up, it has this really distinct masculine scent. More of the tobacco is shining through now. It's a huge thumbs up for me. This soap and this soap base in general. I've picked up the two I like from them. I don't think I'll end up getting more. I know they did just recently do a uh, limited release soap with the um, APR. What, however you feel about um, the APR's business practices, I think it's undeniable that the guy is fantastic at making sense, and I believe that's exactly what he did for HSSC. So yeah, I'm very impressed with uh, kind of that soap. I mean, Eclipse, I've not used, but I'm very impressed with that um, HSSC soap. Let me uh, rinse off my face and we'll get to the post. Wow, great shave. I'll tell you something though. Yes, it took me an extra pass, but I got there eventually. And I will always say that when it comes to mild razors. Well, it might take you longer to find your desired results. It is one extra pass and I have no irritation here, like none. And the uh, post shave on this is wonderful. Uh, you don't need a, a balm or anything. I'm going to use a aftershave because I love the scent. But yeah, you, you just don't need one. Yeah, well. Soap doesn't smell too bad and taste too bad either, if that counts for anything. Okay, so we're going to use the matching splash here. It's a very interesting bottle. Uh, it's 100 ml. Interesting consistency as well. It's almost like a milk. Okay, my hands are slippery, so let's use the towel to get this open. Oh man. Let's get a good amount of this. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's so nice. Wow, yeah, that's that's a wonderful shave. That's a wonderful shave soap. If you can get it, I highly recommend it. If you're a fan of tobacco scents, you have to buy this. It's not not 
not expensive at all. Uh, the aftershave is as much as the soap, which I find weird. The aftershave seems good. It's not as good as some of the stuff I use regularly. Missed a bit there. <sighs> what a shave. Fantastic shave, guys. Um, let's do a recap of everything we used today and I'll let you guys go. Soap of choice. HSSC, Havana Vieja. Two thumbs up from me. Two thumbs up to HSSC in general. One of the best vegetable based soaps I've ever used. Our razor of choice today was, if I give it a bit of a clean, was the Home Like Star razor on the 0.68 base plate. I will use the 0.9 base plate in my next video, just for a bit of a comparison. I've used them both. I much prefer the 0.9. This is a bit too mild for me. However, it's a fantastically smooth shaver, and really that's all I ask for. My brush of choice was from my good old pal Milton at 10 Shave. And this is what I'm gonna call the, the Poseidon brush with a beautiful kind of like aqua cyan center and a really, really nice V3 28 mil tip knot. And the post was the Matching Splash Havana Vieja by HSSC. Wonderful shave today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you know around here and haven't yet subscribed and wanna hear me without a cold, Go watch another one of my videos, and if you enjoy that, really appreciate if you consider subscribing. Apart from that, wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. Goodbye for now.